I can't believe it. Turns out, Canali is actually good now. What's up, my nerd friends? So, if you're out of the loop, Toda recently buffed specifically three units. Canali, Smokey, and Frostfire. I actually already made a video talking about their buff in details. So go ahead and check it out if you want. If you don't want to, don't worry. I will do a small recap of the important buff. So for Konali, active skill now is global range instead of tree cluster. Chain combo is now global range instead of tree cluster. Breakthrough tree now grand preemptive strike instead of, well, the global range. And the most important one, her equipment skill. Shiver mark will not reset after using active skill and then max stack will do additional damage to nearest one enemy before using a chain combo. What you might not realize is, the additional damage is actually exactly the same damage you are going to do with your chain combo. So remember Fleur? It's basically that, except there's no cooldown, so once you accumulate 5 stack of Shiver Mark, you basically become Fleur on crack, minus the splash damage of course. But yeah, it will probably be easier to show you why she is good in combat, and what's better way to showcase using the recently added new game mode, Pandora box. Alright, so this is the Pandora box. To access it, you have to go to your story chapter and also click on the normal stage. But you have to at least clear off all the stages to 3 star before you can access it. So this is basically a hard mode for your story content. You will need more than one team instead of just your usual one. And I actually kind of like this game mode because currently there's a big problem for Alchemy Stars. That is, if you have 5 strong unit in an element, there's not much reason to summon any more units. So this game will kind of change it up a bit, which is pretty nice. You will need more than one team and possibly more than one team in a single element. And this is actually my first time trying this out. So we're trying it blind together. Apparently, I think there is like five to six stages. I'm actually not too sure. So yeah, let me try it out first. Okay, we have B111 and then B112. So we have a Thunder unit here. Can I do the B112 first? It seems like I could. Okay, I'm gonna try B112 first and we're gonna use Finale. Now, unfortunately, I do not have Hydrat, so I couldn't use it here. But Hydra is a good fit for Canali because you can ramp up her 5 stack faster by using another time of chain combo that way. But since we don't have that, we're just gonna use some water converters that I always use in my team, like Clayken and Sario. And you know what? Let's just play some other unit like Batso in here. And might as well place Pearl in here just to see a little bit of better comparison. Which sniper is better? Uh, I'm not too sure if I need healing. If I need that, I'll probably just try it with healers. So now let's see what we can get out of this. All right, we start off with this guy with a lot of defense. So I'll probably ignore this guy first. So a good thing about Kanani right now is her chain combo is now global. And first chain will hit two enemies and. 9 chain would hit 3 and 13 chain with 4 enemies. So obviously, I want to try hitting 4. I'll convert. But before that, let me just use this real quick. I will try to kill this curse guy because I hate the curse guy. <laughs> and yeah, let's convert. We should be able to get 13 chain pretty easily. And you know what? Might as well place Fleur. Why not? All right. We get the Aurora time here. So yeah, you can see here we got 1 sec from using 1 chain combo. And at 5 sec, we can actually finally see how good is Kanali is. So we got something here. When night and day alternate, all Eclipse like clone themselves. Help with the clone is equal to 20% of the subject. Interesting. So they will make another copy of themselves. That's annoying. So we will have to try and kill if possible. Another chain combo here. So it's actually kind of important to play Kanali at the captain because you do want to... Make sure she will get the highest amount of... Uh oh, we cannot get Shin combo here. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, I'm just gonna run down. Because you do need 4 chain to activate Shin combo. Okay, they they, <laughs> they do become themselves. And it also have 30 stack. Okay, okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, another battle here. We should be able to kill this guy. Nice. Still cannot use any chain combo. A shame. I shouldn't use the floor there because I couldn't even get chain combo. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a problem of uh Canal here being that the chain do need four is not as light as someone like Azure, which is only two chained. Uh, 
and you know she come online a little bit slower than other characters but it's still pretty strong i would say because you do do double damage and it always up after you get the five stacks and of course if you get aurora time you can even ramp it up faster and if you have hydrat as well you can also ramp it up faster okay, i'm just gonna place it here hit three enemies instead and whatever i'm just gonna use blur because it proc my battle as well i'm gonna walk down here at least we can use chain combo no aurora time though which is a big shame okay are they gonna copy themselves again oh my goodness all right we have the active skill here it's a pretty good time to see how good this is hit everyone in the map no range okay <laughs> the damage is so low i thought it's gonna kill everything but apparently not i guess what a shame can it even kill all these low health minions but at least it fear them so it buy me some time hopefully it will be enough this guy is very annoying I'm gonna convert hopefully i can use another chain combo oh no i'm stuck here uh, unless i can kill this guy which i don't think i could let me test it either way nope all right I might die on the first run with Canali here. Yep, I died. Oh no, it's a bad showcase. I thought Canali is good now, but yeah, apparently you do need to wait five turns in order to use her power up mode. So yeah, it's not as good as you think, but I still think she is quite a good sniper, especially when you compare water sniper right now. What are good snipers? We have Fleur, that's like pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, I guess you, you can consider, you know, Azure as everything because she does have everything in her kit. Yeah, let me remove Bato because I don't think she will work that well here. You know what? Let's just place an Emmy. Who cares? Emmy will give me some passive healing. Pretty nice. Do I want Fleur? Hmm. Maybe we go for another Convertress. Do I have another Converter race though? Who wants her? I have Carleen. Very low though. Hmm. Not really. Let me try either way. We, have, we want to showcase Canali, right? We have healing. We have more conversion. We're good, right? So the main thing is probably kill the big guys because he has the highest amount of health. It will buff all the units, which is very annoying. So yeah, let's convert. Obviously get as much aurora time as possible. That would be really nice. Okay, we can go with here. Get some defense from Amy. I think it might be wise to actually plan out your move a little bit when using Kanali because you have to make sure every turn you at least get four chains, which is very difficult as you can see here. Uh, so let me check what place I can get four chain guaranteed, which I don't think there is any. Let me try on the yellow one because yellow has a path here. Yep. And they duplicate it. Very bad. Hopefully this will become blue and I have another four chain. Yep. I do have another one. Oh, they're blocking it. What a shame. What a shame. Okay. We have conversion next turn, right? Uh, this guy is going to curse me again though. I'm just going to put my flag over here. Get some more defense. Why not? What? Oh, this guy can hit me over there. Damn it. This this is this is like kind of even worse than last time. Uh, I'm struggling. Oh my god, look at the amount of enemies. I can't even move. <laughs> oh man. Okay. At least we kill most of the curse guy. Yeah. We have 10 more rounds. We should be fine. Yeah. We got a lot of healings. We can also do this. Boom. Get some conversion. Uh it's not Aurora time, I think. It's something, I guess. <laughs> It's very bad. Okay, we're gonna place it here so we can at least curse this guy using our click -in. Yeah, also gonna get some healing. Obviously, I should have actually swapped Amy to captain here. Small mistake. It's fine though. Wait, you cannot be cursed? Oh my god, there's more. There's more. I'm, I'm literally cannot move. I cannot move. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, that hurts. Damn it. I didn't know it was that hard. I guess I have to actually use my main team then. All right, this time, Azure, you have to you have to help our our, <laughs> our poor little girl Kanali here. I'm afraid this will become more of an Azure showcase than Kanali showcase. <laughs> but yeah, no choice. I have to actually bring in someone high low in here because I can't beat it. Stop, stop. Yeah. Mm, let me just do this. Convert. Put the flag here because why not? All right. We'll be able to see how strong Azure is on a Canali showcase. Look at that damage. Oh my god. But yeah, it, it is a detonator, so can we help? This is a lot better, okay? Uh I'm just gonna shoot. Don't really need the green tower right now. Another stack. We have two more to go. We can place it here. Get another tile here. Alright, eight tiles, not nine tiles, so only two targets. Obviously, one we once we get to five, it will work out. Everything will be fine. <laughs> 
I hope at least. I just cover as much as possible. And I convert this one as well. And boom, boom, boom. Okay, we have the five stack now, which is the thing I wanted to, to showcase for the longest time. And then we have Azure here, which will help me convert again. What a nice girl. Look at her. Always helping out. And yeah, we can finally see the effect in battle. The double hit effect. So before using chain combo, we'll deal damage. Another additional damage, as you can see there. Uh, it's not exactly very high, but you know, she is not a detonator. So she can't exactly do that much damage for a big enemy. But I think for small enemies, she definitely will work out just fine. And on a stage such as this, it has a lot of mobs. Her active skill is pretty decent, actually. Pretty good. Do I get our raw time here? And of course, if you have Hydrat or something like that, she will actually become a lot better as well. As you can see, the nearest target will take additional hit. I wouldn't really say she is insanely good though, but definitely, definitely something. <laughs> Let's just say that. Definitely something. But yeah, she, she basically become a flur that uh, has an active skill active all the time. And on particularly longer stages, she can work very well. And I think we should be able to finish this on this turn. Obviously, Azure help out a lot here, <laughs> as you can see. But like I said, Azure is an incredibly broken unit. Uh, I told you all to summon for her. But don't, don't say that I didn't tell you that because she is actually just the best unit in the game. But yeah, damage is very, very strong, very, very good. And since she's only like level 20 or something, already did pretty decent damage so yeah that will be the first one and i believe i will need to do this one without Kanali. so yeah as you can see my Fleur, my Sariel, and Kanali are not available anymore so this is a good time for me to test another characters that is recently getting buffed which is smoky and frostfire now i have this doing it both at max level because i just love their design and i love white hair girls <laughs> And honestly, they are pretty strong as well. So recently they got buff uh, TLDR. The buff is not exactly a massive one, but Smokey got one of, one of the most noticeable buffs, which is the teleport range increased by one cluster. And the equipment will do double damage when the enemy is standing on the red tiles. Those two are the notable one. And for Frostfire, the active skill range is now global and you get a little bit more buff from the max breakthrough. So max will also give you like the stat, attack stat buff instead of just the active skill buff. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna play some converters in here. Like AC, where are you? <laughs> Am I just blind or I cannot find AC? You know what, whatever, false, you come in here. What happened to AC? I never use AC here, why Why is she gone? That is weird. Is AC sick or something? <laughs> Or am I just blind? I think I'm just blind, dude. I actually cannot find AC. Or is there like any specific thing? Oh, I actually already put AC in. What? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna not use so many at level 80. I wanna spread out a bit. Let's use Jonah, why not? Compare the sniper a little bit. Um, I wanna put Frostfire as a leader because she can gain the vis by using chain combo. So she will be probably the one that benefit from mo the most using as captain. Okay, so we have some trap here. Um, probably pretty deadly is a fire trap. So as long as I'm not in this six tile, I should be fine. Um, let's show off the range here. As you can see, another cluster is added, which is very good because now we can tra actually travel to half of the map now instead of just like this small box. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna teleport here because then I can hit these two guys. We have forest invasion, increased chance of green tiles happening and also the clone stuff. I'm gonna convert, get Aurora time because why not? And activate our Jonah. Fun fact, Jonah is actually one of my first few units I got. And until this day, I still haven't really used her that much. <laughs> I do praise her a lot because, you know, she has that niche of her being able to... Uh, why am I not doing damage? But yeah, she does have that niche uh, able to attack using normal attack heavily. So yeah, I still think Jonah, Jonah is pretty good still. Yeah, we have the active skill now, which will increase our basic attack by 3%. And there's a hidden one, which will be increasing our active skill damage by I think 15% or something like that. But yeah, that is basically the whole buff of Frostfire. And you get some quality of life stuff like the range increase and some more this. I actually got hit by the fire trap. I'm stupid. <laughs> And we gotta place it again. And another good thing is, well, of course, you can kill using your active skill. You get the vis back. 
Oh, not back. You get five risks back. It's pretty good over there. Okay, this guy died. That's nice. Oh, we have more now. Oh, actually, if they keep on spawning themselves, it's actually quite good for like Crossfire to gain more stacks. Okay, we are pretty much stuck. So <laughs> I'm hopefully can break out from here by killing this big guy. Actually, I could. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, all the tower here is broken. So it's not like I can do much about it. I'm just gonna normal attack, I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm dying. That's bad. Except I could use Smokey to get out of troubles. One of the best use for Smokey. And also, of course, cleansing of the broken tiles is very good as well. Crossfire killing nothing. Great. Let's do it again. Okay, we killed two. That will give me the vis back. And do it again. Uh, I'm not sure sure how much time I have used the active skill. I wish there's a way. Wait, oh, actually here. I used it seven times. So I actually got 24% increased basic attack now. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. It's a permanent increased stat as well. Definitely not bad. Okay, we're gonna convert because why not? <laughs> Since this is only one wave, I think we should be able to beat this one right here. Okay, get our raw time, why not? All right, that will be it. My final thought on these units, the Kanali buff, I think the buff for Kanali will push Kanali up to S tier currently for a majority single tile bosses that has like multiple waves. So you actually can like stack up your five stack before you actually go into the boss. And since you have the fear effect, on stages that actually do need some fears, like removing the uh, elite status or whatever. Kanali could be a decent fit, and since because you also do decent damage now, yeah, no longer the worst unit. Currently, the worst unit is probably Graf. <laughs> and Smokey and Frostfire, I would say they are two already good units, but they have just gotten a little bit better. I wouldn't really move that tier up because I think they're still decent but i think smokey at least deserves to be s tier now because she's one of the only teleporter in fire right now and able to teleport three cluster instead of two is actually quite big and yeah that's the end of the video i hope you enjoy and learn something about these characters and of course the pandora box which i like let me know if you want to see more of a pandora box and that's it for me today i'll see you all in the next video peace